and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mackenzie and I'm super excited to have you with me today. Today I am collaborating with a new brand. Well, they're not new, but they are new to me and they are called Dakotu. Dakotu, I think that's how you say it. I'm gonna put the name of it here. If someone has heard of this brand before or worked with them or anything and knows the correct pronunciation, let me know because I keep looking and everyone says something different. So anyways, I'm super excited to be working with this brand today. Like I said, they are new to me. I have never um, purchased from them before, but they reached out and asked if I wanted to review a few of their products. And I was like, you know what? Let's go for it because I have been getting lots and lots of questions to share swimwear and this company does happen to have a lot of swimwear so today I have one dress and four bikinis to share with you all of the bikinis are high-waisted so if you're looking for a high-waisted bikini something that is um, a little more modest full coverage then you are in the right place because these bathing suits will be right up your alley so yeah, this is going to be a try on haul and without further ado, let's hop right in. So I'm going to start off with my least favorite item um, as I usually do just because, you know, we want to get it out of the way. There is nothing wrong with this dress. In fact, it's cute. Um, it's red with a floral pattern on it. It's got some purple flowers, a few pink, and it's got like a baby doll style, which is one of my favorite style dresses. I think that they're really easy to wear. You just pop on a pair of sandals and you're good to go. The back looks like this. It does scoop down a little bit and it has a couple of buttons up the back. There's nothing wrong with this dress. It fits fine. It is a little bit on the longer side on me and I did get a size small. Um, but it's just not my favorite. I liked the bikinis a lot better. Um, and I have found that with a few brands that I've collaborated with that I actually liked the swimwear better than the clothes, which is kind of surprising because usually it's vice versa. Swimsuits tend to be hit or miss um, most places you go. But I like the dress. It is 100% polyester, so it does have that feel to it, just um, so you know. But I think that the swimwear is better. Okay guys, I'm so stupid. I'm realizing that I like this dress a lot better now that I have it on. Um, there's no tag in this, so for some reason I was thinking that the back was the front, but no, the back doesn't have it. It's the front that has like this really cute button front detail. It's much cuter now that I figured it out the right way. It just looks like this, a really cute length, very appropriate. The first bikini I was super, super excited about, and it looks like this. It is a tropical print with tassels hanging down. You can see that one of the tassels did come off already. It just literally came right off, but it's really easy to sew back on. And even when I try it on, you'll be able to see that you can't really tell that one of them is off. These are super, super thin straps. I am going to hook the back just so you can kind of see what this looks like. I ordered all of the all four swimsuits in a size small. Just so you know, for reference, I wear a size 34B and I'm typically an extra small in like a she and her zaffle bathing suit. Um, the back strap, it literally just looks like that. It's a very, very small clasp, but it does have three different spots that you can keep it on. I kept it on the smallest because I found that there was a lot of side boob if you didn't. The tassels wrap all the way around the back. This is a smaller top, like it definitely, um, isn't covering a ton it scoops down pretty low but your chest like also isn't falling out of it a really cute style the bottoms look like this like I said these are all high-waisted bottoms and three of the styles are like this netted kind of material the one thing that I did notice about the bottoms from this brand are that they are very wide in the front not that they are too big but like they cover a lot you'll be able to see in the try on portion what i mean that they just are like almost like a boy short style when they're on so if you do not like your cooch you know showing or you want all of your butt covered then this is literally right up your alley you can see that this whole entire butt is covered these are very full coverage bottoms and this netted kind of um style is super Super, super popular. I know Revolve sells a lot of bathing suits like this and a lot of higher end boutiques have been sharing styles like this. I've seen Shein, Zaffle, Cupshe, people like that. Retailers like that kind of knocking off those styles and making these affordable. This bathing suit is under $20. None of the tassels came off on this one. The tassels feel a lot more secure on this. If you guys watched my AMI clubwear video, um, I shared that gorgeous yellow tassel bathing suit and said that when I put it in the washer it ruined it. So I'm not even going to take 
take a chance with this bathing suit. I will hand wash the, these bottoms um, when I go to wash it just because I am a little bit nervous with the tassels that they might fall off. This next bikini I have is super awesome if you're looking for something to be active in. I know every swimwear haul that I um, share, I try and include a style that you could really move in that you could it's really a bathing suit you know like the pr actual purpose of a bathing suit you can swim with it you can dive under waves you could go paddle boarding you could be on a jet ski like I try to share one style that you could really do a lot in and this is the style this one comes in four different colors I believe and this is one of my favorite bikini styles top styles just because it's super easy it's just it literally feels like a sports bra you just pop it on there's no clasps the shoulder straps are not adjustable it's it's just a bathing suit it's just a top it's not going to fall off it's not going anywhere um i love the colors in this it's green with a teal and i love the black this black makes you look surprisingly like very very tan there are cups in all of these bathing suits and you can remove them in this one they just come out right at the top i like black cups better in a black bathing suit i don't know why but they feel like not as cheap when they are black i don't know why but um that's what i noticed so these would be super cute with just a solid black bottom or even the bottoms that they come with of course these are on the very high-waisted side again they are a complete full coverage bathing suit these come right up to your belly button like I said, these are not high up on your hips. Like I have some high-waisted bathing suits that show a lot, a lot, a lot of your hips. Show that regular tan line if you have one. This covers that. So you are good to go another full coverage swimmy. This next bathing suit is so stinking cute. I'm sure you have seen this style bathing suit plenty of times on Instagram, especially if you follow bloggers because this is a very popular style. And again, a lot of retailers are sharing this swimsuit style and the top is just a triangle. It does um, self tie both the top and around the bottom. And this is what the bathing suit looks like. It's gonna kind of wash out because it is white. Um, just two triangle styles and it's got like mesh right here. The mesh is um, like a little oddly sewn, but you know what, it looks fine from far away. And then the bottom is lined with little pom-poms, which are so cute. I get a lot of questions about like these pom-pom style bathing suits. If they have trouble in the water, they do not, not even the tassels have trouble in the water. They wear perfectly fine. But with the tassels, you do have to be careful in the wash. I've never had a problem in the wash with the pom-poms just because it is like a rickrack trim that's just sewn on there. Again, the pads come out of this one. I would 100% not take the pads out of this one because it is a white bathing suit and I know white bathing suits can be see-through um this was fine when it was in the water but I would not recommend taking out the the pads unless you like want to put on a nip show I just don't like that um because this is a triangle style, the cuffs are a little bit smaller. You definitely are showing some more of your chest. You do have a little side boob action with the size small being a size 34B. Um, it's nothing like too tiny, but if you do have a larger chest, go up a size if you are in between. The bottoms on these are super high-waisted. These are probably the ho most high-waisted of the bunch. These cover my belly button, and again, they have that really, really cute detailing. You have mesh and then um, some more like netting and then mesh and then a line of rickrack um why don't you call it rickrack it's just trim trim pom-poms these are super cute again a very very thick waistband and what's different about the bathing suits from this brand and some of the other companies i've worked with is all of these bathing suits have that elastic like around the leg holes and some of the other bathing suits that i've tried from shein and zaffle they have like a raw hem so they're not as tight they're not as form-fitting to your body and what i notice about those is when i'm in the water sand like comes in your bathing suit bottoms a lot more easily with those than if it has this style bottom you guys totally know what i'm saying like i i feel like i'm explaining it kind of confusingly but like when it's a raw hem it's not as like suctioned to your body 
Again, these are white. They're not see-through um, on the bottoms, which I was kind of worried about. I'm not going to lie, but this is a double-lined bathing suit. Um, super cute. Again, I got a size small, but if you are in between sizes, I would recommend going up for this one. This last bathing suit is my favorite of the bunch for sure. I mean, I know that they're all pretty similar, but this one was definitely my favorite. When I was younger, I had a padded bathing suit that looked kind of like this, and it was push-up. This one's not push-up, but it is two cups. Like, this does have underwire on it. Um, I was actually really surprised that I filled this top out because it did look kind of big but it fit totally fine it's got the cutest stripes on it yellow peach orange purple and red i think that this these colors are just super fun for the summer it's a very bright fun happy bathing suit and again you just put it on like this and it does clasp in the back um this clasp is much thicker than the one on the tassel bathing suit where i said that it was kind of tiny um this one's like a very thick clasp and again it does have three like adjustable things so you can kind of choose how tight you want it to be and the thin straps do have um like you can't adjust them and make them bigger or smaller i have them perfect right now so i'm not going to move them so that it's good for the try on but the bottoms again are that same style a high waist full coverage bottom this has the mesh and then the net then the mesh and then the pom-poms i just love this style i think this is so stinking cute and i know revolve sells a bathing suit just like this for probably like 120 bucks or something once you put it all together i'm guessing um whereas this one top and bottom is under 22. These bottoms are not as high-waisted as the white ones, but they hit, again, in a very good spot. And like the other bathing suits, these are not high-cut. It is pretty um, generous with how much fabric is covering um, that midriff. Overall, I was super, super impressed with these bathing suits. I was not expecting to like them as much as I did, and I am very glad that I chose all high-waisted styles. I have tons of bathing suits, and a lot of them are cheekier styles or just small. I have a lot of one-pieces, but high-waisted is an area that I don't have tons of, so I was really happy to try out for the styles as well as the dress. Like I said, I did not not like the dress. I just happened to like the bathing suits better. So if you are trying something from their site, I would definitely recommend checking out their swimwear or trying out their clothes if you're interested in giving something a go. So yeah, thank you guys so much to Code 2 for sponsoring today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or requests, um, if you would like to, or if you would like to see more um, hauls from their brand, be sure to let me know below, and I will take it all into consideration. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will talk to you in my next video. See ya. Oh, and I almost forgot. I will link everything as well as leave a coupon code in the description below. So be sure to check that out for more details.